Welcome everybody, it's Palm Sunday, and I hope you're able to enjoy it even though we're going to be apart. It's an exciting time because this is the day we celebrate Jesus as King, even though later on the people didn't understand that. Um, for this moment in time, they accepted him as the King. And so let's enjoy this day in coming to his gates with thanksgiving. We've got a couple of announcements. Next week, we are going to have our Easter sunrise service at 645 at Tescott. And we're going to have a Road to Emmaus service at 7 p.m. at Culver on the West Porch. The sunrise service will be on the cross that is east of Tescott. And um, if you have, are looking for an excuse not to come to church, next Sunday is the time to do it because... We don't want a huge crowd. Um, we're going to try to stay six feet apart and stay within our regulations. Um, but we may have something in town if some of you can't make it out to the cross. Um, I understand that that hill is kind of hard to get up. So we'll talk about that later. But just six for now, 645 sunrise service, 7 p.m. in Culver, the road to a mass service. Also, um, keep in mind that we're trying to meet the needs of those that are, um, can't get out. So if you know someone that needs food or needs supplies, let me know or let Love Inc. know, and we'll be sure and get them something. I can't think of any other important announcements. It seems like a lot of our activities are cut off because of this virus and so we're praying at this time that our our community is protected from this virus and more than that that we take a little more time to talk to God this virus will come and go but our relationship with God is something that lasts forever so I would invite you to lay aside your worries about the coronavirus and about cares that you might have, um, worries that you might have, even plans you're trying to make for next week. And let's have an opening prayer. Um, I'm going to invite you to think about anything that you might have that would keep you apart from God and get rid of that for this moment. Um, maybe you've got a grudge you're holding. Maybe you've got something that you just can't let go of. At least for this time when, on Sunday morning, let it go. And let's let God work in our hearts because we want him to speak to us today. So I'm going to give you a moment to do that and also think of three things that you're thankful for today. I would invite you to come into his gates with thanksgiving. We're going to read in the psalm that this is the day that the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in it. So let's take a moment of silence, be thankful and rejoice in the Lord and then I'll lead us in the pastoral prayer. So let's have a moment of silence. God, we do worship and praise you and thank you for all you've done. And on our mind is this coronavirus. I pray that you would heal our land of this and heal our hearts of the fear that we might have. Pray that you would help us now to focus upon you and just savor your presence. Walk with us today and hold our hand. Blanket us with your love. Help us to know how we can um, not just worship you in our heart, but also in our actions. 
Guide us now in this service and through this day, we ask in Jesus' name, and we ask for your Holy Spirit to guide us every step of the way. Amen.